Hello, everybody. This is a recap of what we did in class today. So if you look under cycle 10 in your classwork tab, you'll see an assignment called Essay Body Paragraph 1. It is a set of Google Slides. There is a copy made for you with your name in front of it. When you open that up, you'll see this cover slide that says drafting your definition essay part two body paragraphs in order to start this assignment you need to have completed everything that came before it so you will need to have your thesis statement and your introduction finished or you will not be able to do your body paragraphs so each one of these slides ex uh, explains one part of this graphic organizer that will help you put together your body paragraphs. So the first thing is up in this flag looking space in the corner and it's titled quality you are discussing. So over here in this pink box it tells you that you are starting with the first quality of an American that you listed in your thesis statement. So your thesis statement should read an American is and then three things right blank blank and blank you are picking the first one and you are putting that word or phrase up here so for the purpose of this example it is resilient an american is resilient once you have that up there you are ready to move on to the next box in that box you are putting your topic sentence I'm giving you a sentence frame here that you can use. An American is blank. So what goes on that blank is the same thing that you have up here in your flag, the quality you are discussing. So for my example, it would be an American is resilient. You could fill it in with whatever you have up here. It does not have to be a single word. So you can say an American is someone who stands up for their rights. An American is proud of where they come from, right? Whatever you have, just plug it in to the sentence frame. Then you can move on to number two here, which is support. And all that is, is the quote from the text that goes with your claim. So you should already have these quotes picked out. This is what we did with that brainstorming graphic organizer. So the quote that I had chosen that ended up with me saying that Americans are resilient is this one from Langston Hughes. So all I did was copy and paste the quote from my brainstorming organizer onto here. And then I added this little tag at the beginning to introduce who said it and in what text they said it. So it says in I2, Langston Hughes states, and then I put my quote. So make sure you're paying attention to this little speech bubble over here. You need to put the quote in quotation marks, and you need to tell me who said it and in what text they said it. All of that information should be both on your graphic organizer from brainstorming and your thesis statement document. The next step is to explain how your quote supports the word up here in your flag. So how does this quote show that Americans are resilient? Yeah. Again, if you did your brainstorming and your thesis, you should have your explanation on both of those graphic organizers. So you can copy and paste what you had right into here and then look at it to see if you think it works. You might need to add things, you might need to take something out, you might need to clarify something, but the basic ideas that you're discussing should be in the work you've already done. And the last part of each body paragraph is a transition sentence, and all that is, is a sentence that wraps up what you've been talking about in this paragraph and gives a hint of what you're talking about in the next one. So in this case, Americans will fight for their rights and stand up for themselves. That's summing up what I've said in here. 
and they also work hard to achieve their dreams. So that tells my reader that in the next paragraph, I'm going to talk about working hard. Once you have all five of those things filled in, your flag and then these four pieces, that is your body paragraph. All you need to do is put it together into paragraph form in no red ink. So the last slide here is a place for you to type in your first body paragraph. You will just replace these little type here placeholders with whatever you are saying. If you need some examples of words to use as transitions in this last sentence, you can click here. This link will take you to a PDF of uh, transition words. You are also welcome to use this as a sentence frame. Americans will blank and they also blank and you can plug in your words in there. If you want to try some other things, then click on this link and take a look at the PDF. It gives you all sorts of words that you can use. And once you have this filled in, you will submit it to me on Classroom, and you have finished your first body paragraph.